Ooh, that feels good on my face. That's what she said. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 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 Okay, we're back, and by popular demand, I have my son again. Wait, they wanted me? I've heard some people say that. I've heard some people say that the father and son thing is cool and that we should do it more often. Okay, no. It's still Halloween time, and, you know, I think that usually whenever I, I do get Aiden, I think that we'll probably try to film a video regularly. Um, once Halloween season is over, we already have some cool ideas, like talking about how stupid modern trailers are and things but since it's still spooky season we have some more Halloween inspired related ideas when are you gonna get your hair cut because right now you look like you just came out of the swamp <laughs> I like looking like I came out of a swamp oh, geez all right so we're just gonna get right into it we're talking about horror movie remakes you know there's so many so many good ones so many bad ones Obviously, there's more bad ones than good ones, I'd say. I just had to go through the list of ones that I know I've seen and that I know are bad. I do have some honorable mentions for either remakes that I refuse to watch, and then I also have one that I would like to watch but haven't seen yet. So some of these movies you might know and might have seen, some of them you might yeah, not. Yeah, he's going to be ranking them. I'm just going to listen and talk about them and the ones that I do know. If I mention a movie that you don't know, you could give an honorable mention to a really bad horror movie remake. Okay, all right, well the first one is One Missed Call. One Missed Call was probably what is one, that movie? well, it, it, you're not missing much. It was, it had a 0% on Rotten Tomatoes. Damn. <laughs> one Missed Call had 0%. Now off, also I wanna point out that the poster art for this movie is the worst poster art I have ever seen. It is so bad. It's like they were trying to be creative. Bro, that looks like, bro, that looks like your mom whenever you get one missed call and she comes in with a knife and you're just like, -na 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 -na. like how, what the freak are you talking about? Do we need to call Child Protective Services? <laughs> No. <laughs> One Missed Call, the remake came out in 2006 and the original came out in 2003. This so was, a three year yeah, gap. Yeah, well here's the thing, when I was about your age there was this huge trend going on um, in horror movies where they would remake like Japanese horror movies just a couple years after they were released. They would do this, they would literally it was almost like Americans were like, oh there, here's a cool idea from a Japanese horror movie, why don't we just, you know, remake it and make it for Western audiences. So one missed call, the, the thing about this that's different is that the 2003 movie wasn't even that great. It was released to mixed reviews, the original, the 2003 Japanese version. The idea of remaking a movie that didn't do too well with a cool concept and making it better isn't a bad idea, but the issue is that they didn't do anything with it, they made it even worse. It was so bad. And it's, Honestly, one of the worst movies I have ever seen. I, I agree with the critics on this. It deserves a zero percent. It was absolutely hot, steaming garbage. This man's good at movie reviews. I think he should become a Rotten Tomato critic. Oh, should I? So I just have to give an honorable mention to a movie that I think is garbage. Yes. Preferably a remake, but if you can't think of one, it could be Yeah, I can't one. think of any remakes. All right, so just think of a really bad horror movie that you don't like. Willy's Wonderland. It's about um, a man who's played by Nicolas Cage who gets a flat tire by a, one of those spike things on the road. He has to get a job at this abandoned pizzeria called Willy's Wonderland with eight animatronics and kills them in very gruesome and creative ways. So the next one on this list of my list is A Nightmare on Elm Street, the 2010 okay. remake. Is it that bad? It is that bad. I heard that he like tickles them to get into their nightmares. They tried making it like straight up like generic horror and it didn't work. Have you seen what he what they made Freddy Krueger look like? Yes, I saw. Yeah. He looked like a sock puppet. Yeah, basically. Yeah. I know it's hard to explain. It's just it wasn't Freddy at all. And they're like, oh, we're trying a different perspective. I'm like, why? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Why are you going to make a different perspective of <laughs> that's something exciting. that's bad? The next one on the list is When a Stranger Calls. Don't know that one. Um, it's a classic. It's known actually for its first opening scene. The opening sequence, which was in 1979, was one of the most, it was considered one of the scariest opening sequences. Well, well tell um, me it, because I've never heard of this. Yeah, so I'm sure you've heard the story, you know, where, you know, uh, there's a babysitter 
you know, in the house, you know, babysitting kids, and then like she gets these phone calls. They, like she calls nine one one, and then like they they're able to trace where the phone call is coming from, and it's coming from in the house. Oh hell no! Yeah, that's and scary. That's the 19th, it's basically like, you know, the whole like babysitter in the house alone kind of a thing. It set the stage for what Scream did with its opening sequence. It was, you know, that, that. The, with the call, do you want to? Yeah, like, do you, yeah, you want to see a scary movie? movie? Yeah. But the 2006 movie, it was so unbelievably bad. And everybody agrees that it was just, it again is one of the, not only one of the worst horror remakes ever made, but one of the worst movies ever made. Th these movies are so bad that clearly I've only seen them once. And most of them, like what, when A Stranger Calls came out in 2006, I was 15 when this movie came out. In, two, uh, in 2006, I was 15. I'm not that old, shut up. <laughs> Basically what I do remember, if I remember this correctly, they tried taking the opening sequence of When a Stranger Calls and stretching it out into one big giant long movie for the 2006 version. Oh, so and they just lost... tried to make it like the babysitter scene, but longer and a more extended version? Essentially, yeah. That's kind of, that's pretty much what they did. And in theory, that's a cool idea. It, yeah. It's not a bad idea, but it was executed so badly. If, if they ever made a remake of this movie, it would obviously be on this list. Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, let's be for real, come on. It's so I thought bad, you liked it's, it. I, it's so bad, it's funny. Default dancing on the grave. No, it's good. I don't understand. I don't, have I, you ever played freaking Fortnite? Again? I have never played Fortnite. I'm 32 years old. Do you think I'm playing Fortnite? So the next one is The Eye from 2008. Um, the, the original came out in 2002. It was, I believe it was Japanese. Kevin, can you look that up for me? Wait, Singapore. What? Singapore. Where's Singapore? Um, Singapore is a country. Singapore is a city in China. Is it not? I mean, if it's I... It's an island country. What? Singapore is an island country. It's an island country? What the hell is an island country? This uh, man is so dumb. Give him one of those dumb hats that you, dumb cone hats that you get at school, bro. Give him one of those. Cone this hats? Man, you know those cone hats that they give you at school that spell out the word dumb? That sounds abusive. They give you a hat that says dumb on it and yes. you have to walk around with it? In like middle school and high school. You're you lying to me. You're, they do not do that. So the movie was a, it's a movie from Singapore in 2002. Um, and I remember watching it before the 2008 movie came out. I saw the OG, The Eye, in 2005. It was so, so, so good. Now the story is really interesting, Aiden, you actually might like this. So it's like about a blind woman who gets this procedure done to get like an eye transplant. And like, she starts like seeing ghosts. And like, the ghost is trying to tell her something through her eyes. Because now that she's seeing for the first time, she doesn't know what's real and what's fake. And let me guess, they butchered all of that in the remake, right? Uh, yeah, no, there were some cool moments. Um, the only issue is one, Jessica Alba can't act for shit. And um, did she Fantastic play, Four. Did she Fantastic play in Four. anything that I know? She was in Fantastic Four. Sin City? The movie. Sims, the video game. No, Sin, S-I-N. Sin City, not Sim City. That's a video game. I don't give a damn. They must be the same thing. Just <laughs> oh a with an N. Oh, that feels good on my face. That's what she said. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 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 Alright, so the next one is the 1998 version of Psycho. <laughs> the, this is a middle of the road for me, because I understand what Gus Van Sant was trying to do, because I'm a Gus Van Sant fan. Obviously we know that the 1998 version of Psycho is a remake of the original from 1960 by Alfred Hitchcock. Now, what Gus Van I'm sorry, Sant what's his last name? Alfred Hitchcock? You don't hear it? I Yes, I do hear cock in his name. I guess I'm aware of that. You Whoa. <laughs> I'm sorry. I did, I did, that just caught me off guard. You know, you know who Alfred Hitchcock is, though? Who? Alfred Hitchcock, the guy who made Psycho. You're going to be a horror fan and you're not going to know who Alfred Hitchcock is? Come on. Bro. It's that nice. Yeah, wah, 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 wah. With a knife. Bro, are you playing charades? <laughs> Bro, are you playing charades? What Gus Van Sant was trying to do. Now, I am a Gus Van Sant fan. I always have been, as long as I can remember. And you have to understand that he's an auteur. He is a art house filmmaker, generally speaking. And so when he wanted to make Psycho, it was an experiment. He literally made everything shot for shot, line for line. It's like an exact clone of the original movie. Now, the reason that this didn't work is because it was literally what he was trying to set out to do in this remake. He's like, does this work? Can you do this? Can you capture the, the beauty of the original by making the exact same thing with different actors and a different director? And the answer to that question is no. 
Yeah. We're done with that. Kevin, did it go in the trash can or it's done? No. No, it didn't. Time to cook. <laughs> okay, are we done? We're done. We're done. We're done here, folks. This video is sponsored by Marvel. No, it's really not. <laughs> it's really not. We're done here, folks. Let's get out of here. <laughs>